Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe and share my channel. And thank you for growing with me, for those who have been with me and continue to share and subscribe my channel. I appreciate it. So in South Florida, we've been having rains for the last month, heavy thunderstorm almost every afternoon. So um, this morning I did a fungicide treatment and if you may ask, I just went to, um, to Lowe's and I just pick up a regular, just one of the, the fungicide treatment they have there. Nothing fancy, nothing online. I just went and I got a fungicide treatment because I needed to do an emergen emergency care with them. With all the rains, I have to protect the roots and also the leaves. If you notice, some of the leaves are looking a little, yeah, looking a little yellow. And if that's okay, we will get some of that when you have so much rain and water on your vandas or any orchid. So what I did, I did an emergency treatment this morning. Uh, it checked on the leaves. You know, most of the leaves, they're still firm and crisp and that's how they ought to be it, and the roots are still okay but I still you know there are some little spots that I'm concerned on on some of them so I did my fungicide treatment the roots are okay the tips like I always stress on they are intact they are growing the summer getting their summer growth so they are they got their treatment early this morning with the heat here guys we have to do our gardening early morning or late afternoon so you know the leaves are okay see they're crisp crisp they're not soft and the roots are still good but I still have to protect them because I don't know if there's any underlining issues that I can't see readily that may pop up. So the best thing to protect them is to do a fungicide treatment. And they're hanging here, guys, basking in the sun. They're getting the filtered shade here. It's bounced off the trees from behind or to the side. So they're getting enough morning sun and afternoon sun. And I try to watch the time of the day when the sun hit this area. So it's okay for now. I'll be watching them to make sure nothing gets burnt. So, you know, like this one, I have to continue the fungicide treatment. And, you know, until all of those brown spots clear up. And after I'll be cleaning off all of these these spots here I'll be cleaning them all cutting out the roots cleaning them up but for now I did the emergency I did the emergency um, fungicide treatment so they're here hanging here waiting for some beautiful blooms most of them are in their going through their resting period so no rush i'm just taking care of them and they will bloom in due time and to be an orchid grower guys and we will say orchidist um you after a while you'll realize that the blooms are beautiful but if you can't love the roots and the leaf, the foliage and everything, you, you're in the wrong kind of stuff. Because, you know, most of these orchids, they bloom three to four times a year. Some of them once, like the Grammatophyllum, and some of the Dendrobiums. So, if you can't love them for the other features that they come with without the blooms then you can it doesn't make sense you, you know collecting orchids because you may give up on the plant when it's not giving you beautiful blooms for me i just love the roots i love to see 
all the leaves perking up crisp and nice and somehow when I get a bloom from any of my orchids like this one this is the van der Thalen I posted this weekend van der Th Thalen times Rincon style is Guy Gentile and um, it's the they, I think it's a midnight indigo. It has a bright, deep blue purple color. So for me, it's 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 very fragrant. And when I come out in this area, it, you know, it hits you and it gives a pleasant fragrance. But for me, I love the blooms. But once I get them to be blooming. I kind of feel like I accomplish that and then I move on to the others that I need to nurture to produce blooms. The blooms are very rewarding, but I try to be a complete girl with my orchids. I try to make sure the roots and the leaves are okay and they're attractive to me when they are okay. So that's it for this morning doing my morning chores with my orchids it's getting very hot here guys it doesn't take much for the heat to to um, get to us here so this is my vanda how I care for my vanda how I check on them after a long period of rain I have to make sure that I get the fungicide treatment to erase, you know, diminish, erase, minimize whatever fungus may develop with so much water. The good thing for me, guys, I don't have to water twice a day. The Mother Nature does that for us. It's just that I need to do my other part to care for them and make sure my green babies are okay. So once again, guys, thanks for doing this Vanda walk with me. Please continue to subscribe and share to my channel. Happy growing.